Time to bounce around some more topics. We call it face off. TJ Otzelberger and the Cyclones pick up another transfer from the portal. Portal. Keyshawn Gilbert out of UNLV. 13 points, four rebounds per game. Looks like another solid wing player. Yeah, Iowa State can use guard help and Gilbert can score and defend, so he should fit in nicely. If he improves that three point percentage, he'll really make yeah. a difference. Creighton lost a key player to the portal this week. Blue Jay fans, this won't surprise you. We're not happy. We know how this goes. But Greg McDermott shows pure class, saying and reminding fans the portal works both ways, and Creighton has also benefited from transfers. We know this is true, but it's hard for fans, John. I get it. It's hard. Yeah, many fans only see things through their team colored glasses. They forget the portal benefits everyone. And most importantly, we should never be surprised when a player decides to transfer, no matter if that it was a starter or a bench player. Just get used to it. Yeah, it happens boy. every year. It's, it's happening more. Spencer Lee spoke to Barstool for the first time since losing in the NCAA wrestling semifinals. Lee said people shouldn't make excuses for him. He got beat plain and simple. This was one of the biggest upsets in wrestling history. I still can't believe it. Spencer said all the right things. Don't make excuses. Don't take away from Ramos. Spencer Lee also said his mom's glasses were readers <laughs> worth about $5. So don't worry about that either. You can see her just yeah. ripping those oh, things. She was so frustrated. <laughs> Tiger Woods tied the all-time record by somehow making his 23rd consecutive Masters cut. But Tiger was unable to finish the tournament, limping noticeably in bad weather Saturday. Tiger withdrew, and it, it was hard to watch. It was hard to see him in that much pain. Yeah, this may be the, the end for Tiger. When he's playing, he can compete, but his body just can't hold up for a full tournament, especially bad weather. He's 47 years old, so father time is catching up with him. I was stunned when he won the 2019 Masters, but I think that's the last we'll see of him on top. Again, fingers crossed. I hope I'm wrong. I hope you're wrong, too. Uh, the movie Air hit theaters this week. It's the story of Nike courting and signing Michael Jordan, the biggest, most important athlete endorsement in sports history. I haven't seen the movie, but it looks great. It, I loved it. You're going to love it, too, I think, John. It's more of a business movie than a sports movie. But Matt Damon, Ben Affleck, Chris Tucker, Jason Bateman, and especially Viola Davis are all great. It's funny. It's interesting. You'll feel like you were dropped into the year 1984, <laughs> although you might not be able to remember that far back. How old were you? Three. Okay. Uh, the music and visuals will just make you feel like, oh, it's 1984. It's an interesting story, but interestingly, I've never owned a pair of Air Jordans. Have you? I have, yes, the Air Jordan 8s. I think I was in about sixth grade. They were so cool. I loved them, and I really felt like Jordan every time I put them on. So we're, they were they're unbelievable. Your, your mom probably worked a part-time, extra part-time yes. job just to buy those. <laughs> exactly. Knockout.